Hey y'all, my name is Madigan. You can call me Maddie, and today we are on day 14 of our voiceover practice. That's right, two weeks, not straight, but two weeks worth of practicing uh, for our voiceover classes. So we will be doing a theme based around Elden Ring today. I thought, what better way to kick off our, se our third week of doing voiceover practice than with a dark and gritty game like Elden Ring. So I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. Ronnie is best girl. Ronnie is best girl. And again, that lets you marry a cute goth girl. Hey, I'm all about murdering gods is pretty goth, you know? But yeah, Ronnie 100%. It's the only real ending of Elden Ring is if you get to marry Ronnie. Jealous will be our first motion. Ooh, this is a good one. We're gonna read Margit as Jealous. What better person to do that for? Graceless Tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Godred the Golden, the twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania? Carol Radon, Praetor to Rykard, Lunar Princess Ronnie, Willful Traitors all, thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition, have it writ upon thy meager grave, felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. O oops, spoilers, he's actually Morgoth. I feel like Morgoth, or Margit, whatever you want to call him, kind of embodies jealousy as a character. He's very much so demonized for his appearance and his birth, and, you know, he's always wanted to be one of these gods, but never aspired to it because he has that own self-hatred. And then, you know, I got to get my gruff voice reading in. And of course, we got to read Margit as a little bit more gruff. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Godric the Golden, the twin prodigies Mikola and Melania, General Radon, Prayer to Rykod, Lugna Princess Rani, Willful traitors all, thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition, have it writ upon thy meager grave, felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. I do really like his character. Ronnie is definitely number one in the game, but still, still. Our next quote will be from the voiceover library, read as... Mysterious. Ooh, Mystery Incorporated. Got any Scooby-Doo's in chat? Oh, Raggy. We'll read News Channel 5 Investigates from our voiceover library. When you hear the word bully, you probably think of confrontations in the schoolyard or barroom brawls. But did you know you could be just a cubicle away from one in the office tonight on Channel... On News Channel 5. I'm so used to Channel 5 News. Our series on working in America continues with our exclusive report on office bullies. They're more common than you think. The lost contracts, bad peer reviews, and poor morale they cause can be damaging to your business. Watch our exclusive report tonight at 6, only on News Channel 5. Are you feeling mysterious, chat? Are you ready? You ready for the mystery? Our next Elden Ring quote will be... Analytical. I don't know if we've done analytical yet. Let me get an actual definition on analytical. Relating to or using analysis or logical reasoning. Okay, so just trying to act logical and nerdy. We'll read Melina, you know, the good old level up girl, as analytical. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos devouring life as though unending. However, Ruined the world has become, however mired in torment and despair. Life endures. Birth continue. There is beauty in that, is there not? I don't really feel like I did analytical. How do you do analytical? I mean, I could just do a nerd voice, you know? I can just be like, I can do a nerd voice, but it seems kind of like a cop-out. Well, we'll just do the nerd voice. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought, uh, and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Earths continue. There is beauty in that, is there not? I'm just picturing Melina with just pushed up glasses, snoring like, <sighs> Earths continue. There's beauty in that, is there not? All right, one last read as a little bit more intended. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It's not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life as thought ending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. 
Earth continue. There's beauty in that, is there not? All right, chat, ultimate debate. We need to settle. Who is best level up girl? Through all the Demon Souls games, all the Soulsborne, Sekiro, anything from software as produced in like the Soulsborne style, who is the best level up girl? My answer may surprise you. The maiden in black with eyes occluded by wax. That's right, Demon Souls. I think Demon Souls level up lady is my favorite. And no, not because that she shows feet. It's not because of that. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I don't know, man. It's just such a cool line read. I love the voice actress for her. Well, I want to do another voice from Elden Ring. Let's get going. Hopeful. Hopeful's cute. I like hopeful. The only thing I know about Dark Souls 2 is that it has a gender coffin, which is rad. It's, it's, it makes you be able to be whichever gender you want. It's fantastic. The best part is not knowing that. And then because all the armor is pretty unisex looking in Dark Souls 2, I didn't even notice that I had changed genders. I hopped in the Dark Souls 2 coffin, just not knowing what it was, and then nothing changed or happened. It took me, I think, three or four hours to realize, wait a minute, I'm a guy now. Yeah, that's right. I play girls when I play video games. Fight me. Let's do best girl, Ronnie. Red as hopeful. The battle is over, I see. To every living being and every living soul, now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond into fear, doubt, and loneliness as the path stretched into darkness. Well then, shall we? My dear Consor Eternal. I mean, that's pretty, it's, it's kind of a hopeful thing for Ronnie, at least. You know, her goal's finally been accomplished. She's got you, you know, she got, she got hot. <laughs> She's got hot tarnished to hang out with. <laughs> Hubby time. Ronnie is best girl, best ending. Fight me on it. We gotta give her, we gotta give her a triumphant reading too. She just won, come on. The battle is over, I see. To every living being and every living soul, now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond into fear, doubt, and loneliness as the path stretches into darkness. Well then, shall we, my dear consort eternal? Let's do another one from our voiceover library. Uh, we'll read it as... Bossy. You know, as an older brother, Bossy's easy for me. We're gonna read Blu-ray versus DVD from our script library as... Bossy. In the home entertainment area, Blu-ray is overtaking DVD as the premier home format, with picture quality up to six times greater than DVD and full definition surround sound. Blu-ray offers a vast technical upgrade over DVD. In addition, Blu-ray discs can hold up to 50 gigabytes of information, compared to the maximum of 17 gigabytes of DVD, allowing for a much more complex and interactive bonus features. Blu-rays also utilize what is called floating menu technology, which allows viewers to visit the disc's main menu without leaving the movie, something DVDs can't do. The name Blu-ray is derived from the blue-violet laser used to read the discs. Traditional DVD players use a red laser instead. And now I'm gonna read this documentary style. In the area of home entertainment, Blu-ray is overtaking DVD as their premier home video format. With picture quality up to six times greater than DVD and full high definition all full high definition surround sound, Blu-ray offers a vast technical upgrade over DVD. In addition, Blu-ray discs can hold up to 50 gigabytes of information compared to a maximum of 17 gigabytes on DVD, allowing for much more complex and interactive bonus features. Blu-rays also utilize what is called floating menu technology, which allows viewers to visit the disc main menu without leaving the movie, something DVDs can't do. The name Blu-ray is derived from the blue-violet laser used to read the discs. Traditional DVD players use a red laser instead. For our final quote and final Elden Ring quote as well, we're going to be reading as... Ashamed. 
That's not bad. I, I'm usually ashamed by something. I have that, uh, I have that millennial guilt, you know? <laughs> and we'll be reading Melania as ashamed. Chat, have you heard the story of Let Me Solo Her? If you haven't, it's so great. So Let Me Solo Her was a person who would leave their summon sign outside of Melania's boss gate in Elden Ring, who is considered the hardest boss. And this is what they look like. They wore the pot on their head, just a loincloth, and then the two katanas. Their name speaks for itself. They would put the summon sign outside this boss chamber, and they would solo her. I believe they got hundreds of kills on Melania just going around helping others beat the hardest boss dressed as this lunatic. Basically through word of mouth on the internet, legend spread about Let Me Solo Her to the point where he became this huge meme in the community. Ah, yes, yes, the Let Me Solo Her guy received a uh, special drawing of their character and then this replica sword. Congratulations to your great accomplishment. The little Let Me Solo Her thing drawn there. So cute, so absolutely adorable. I lost the sauce there. We're leading Melania as ashamed. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, my body rotted. Corpse after corpse slept in my wake as I awaited its return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. I have never known defeat. I mean, to be fair, I feel like she is kind of not ashamed of herself, but just with her whole Scarlet Rot situation being born like this, I, I don't know if she feels ashamed, but she's definitely got to feel some sort of self distaste, self hatred for the inability to live the life that she wants. Well, let's round it off with one last reading. I dreamt for so long, my flesh was dull gold and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake as I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola, and I have never known defeat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to help the channel grow a little bit bigger. We do stream every day at 1 p.m. EST over on twitch.tv slash MadiganVA, so come and join us. You can see me record these live and play some games after. If you wish to support me, there's a link down below for my Patreon, and we do weekly community nights. Uh, last time we watched Princess Mononoke together, so I hope to see you there. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye, y'all.